Yeah, um, they were playing. They were playing great. Um, BT was doing a nice job of uh, finding cutters uh, versus their zone. Started to pick apart the zone a little bit in the second half, which was nice to see. Um, Josh's energy and um, just being all over the floor, deflections and uh, just what he brings to the game takes your your whole team up another level. Uh, so we, we try to do some offense, defense to try to, you know, minimize what was happening out there. And, you know, we just spotted them too, too big of a lead when it comes down to it. Thought these kids fought in the second half. They made a valiant, valiant comeback. Um, but it's just too many points to overcome. And, you know, Chris did a great job. North, we, we did a similar thing at Northwestern. We came out, and they did that to us tonight. Pat, how, how much does it sting on senior night? Obviously, you had a nice comeback, but it's got to be difficult. I have a love-hate relationship with uh, senior night. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just too emotional. Too emotional. And I felt like the first 20 minutes, that's the way we played. Too many emotions, too many, this, this is it. What's the next chapter? We're already moving on. And... Uh, it's not an excuse, but and that's what it looked like. We, we looked a little stuck in mud in the first half, and Chris had his guys ready to go, which I knew. Uh, you know, revenge game, and there's so much riding on the game for the seating, and um, I think his, for them, the hit, most wins for a senior class, something, something to that um, level. And, you know, it was too late for us when we finally woke up and, and competed and played Penn State basketball. Did that play into the struggles to end the first half and start the second half? <coughs> what do you think kind of the struggles offensively? But yeah, I just, you know, playing different lineups, we're in foul trouble, um, starting a different lineup, rotations become differently. We practiced it yesterday of how we were going to accomplish what we wanted to do, and um, I, I think it was almost they were in shock what was happening. Um, give Trey Demps a lot of credit, man. He came out and mm -hmm. he put the team on his back. That's what seniors do. Because you were playing your best basketball up at Michigan State, you guys made so much improvement. What do you say to your guys to get them back on that track? Respond. Just got to respond. Respond. It's not the end of the world. Keep being the best team we can be by the end of the year. Come back tomorrow. Go to work. Head high. Find the energy. Find the mojo. Try to finish strong on Sunday. Was the switch from a zone defense to a man defense an attempt to answer their strong shooter? Uh, man, I mean... <laughs> they hit a ton of a ton of threes in the first half. What was it? Six? Yeah, they hit six threes in the first half. Um, I just didn't. I just felt like they played hard on us in the first half, and I felt like the second half, you know, what we we responded. Uh, I, I played small, um, went with four guards, and I thought that slowed them down a little bit. But again, it was just too big of a lead to to overcome. But we were right there. It was a four-point game, I think. Right there, uh, I thought Shep had a couple good looks. Um, we had a couple costly turnovers that kind of put the swung the momentum back to Northwestern. And uh, I thought Shep played valiant, valiant tonight. I mean, he did everything he could. I, I, the kid can't play 39 minutes. It's just too much to ask a sophomore. But um, he's given us everything he's got. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.